Hey guys, what up? SpiritMonger187 here. Welcome back for a new match of Shadow Spades. Of Shadow Era, of course. And today we're playing Victor the Heart Seeker. Yep, Victor Heart Seeker. Uh, let's see what we have here. Let's get rid of. Hmm, we'll just get rid of this one. And we'll skip. So the Aramia has got a new, uh, a new card interface, or whatever you call it. I don't know if you have to, if you can choose from uh, this one and the other, just like some other heroes, or this is the new card interface. I haven't checked it out yet. I have not been online very much this week. I had a very busy week, and I'm a little bit ill, so uh, yeah, I just haven't played too much. Let's see what we have here. So you, <laughs> I think Victor Heart Striker. What the fuck are you doing? Um, yeah, I think he's pretty nice near now in this uh, um, with Shattered Fates because, especially about this card, Raven Gambit. I heard some other players say that card is too overpowered, and I know it. it, it it's a good card, and I just made a mistake there because I was starting the game, of course. But yeah, this is a good card, um, but you can also say, like, Mind Control, it's, it's a good card. Because you destroy an opponent's ally and you give him like four, five damage, maybe sometimes. So yeah, it's a good card, but um, yeah, the hunter uh, allies really needed a card like this. If this was like uh, a card for, um, let's say, elementalist or a warrior, then it would be so overpowered. But now it's for the hunter class, and they just needed some boost. They just needed a boost, so I do think it's a pretty good card, but not that overpowered in a hunter class. Let's see, he's got the combo that he can freeze my enemy or freeze my ally. And I just made a mistake because I was talking too much and I played this seductress maybe too quick, but doesn't matter. His ally is going down for sure, I think. Yeah. His ally is going down. Um, let's see, are we going to hold on to this and bump him up? Mm, no, we're not going to do that. We are going to get rid of the Legend Rises. And we're just going to smack him in the face. And remove vulnerability from his weapon. This card. Whenever your hero kills an opposing ally in combat, your hero is plus one shadow energy. And this was quite quite good in the games that I played. I, I built this deck around a little bit more than a week ago, I think. And I've played like four matches with it, and I all would won them pretty easily. So let's see how we are going to do against this Aramia. We could really use a hero now, yep, this is a nice nice card to draw. Um, he's still got vulnerability left, so let's remove that. So now he doesn't have durability left. Let's play this one and attach this one to him. And we will end turn there. So this Urigon's Fang. Yeah, that's a pretty nice card because you can search your deck for a weapon. It costs like 3 resources. And you just keep playing them, putting them in play. And yeah, I've, I have a quite big deck, but since Shattered Fates, I do not think uh, I'm going to build decks with 40 cards anymore. Maybe a little bit fatter decks, like 50 cards max. And I'm just going to check out how that works, but so far, um, yeah, decks with 50 cards or a little bit less, between 40 and 50, it were pretty nice for me. But I'm not drawing very good and. He's just keep freezing my ally, that sucks. Let's just give him some damage and we'll just end turn. Did we, did we give him the higher fun? No, we did not. So let's just still give him to him. <laughs> and the other Aramia card, yeah, this this image is also nice and the other also. I just have to check out if still the other card uh, image is still existing. Because if they replaced it with this one, I don't think it was not a priority, you know. Let them just focus on the other cards and give them images first before they are deciding like 
yeah, let's say uh, this uh, Zalen Crusader, say they are not uh, happy with the card image and replace it for another one. I just say, yeah, just <laughs> make some card art for these placeholders, you know. So he's going to freeze him. He move my weapon while well, we still have one more in hand. Here comes his. And let's get rid of. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Hmm. No. Let's just uh, see. We go to skip this. We are going to. We are just going to retrieve the uh, decoy trap. Normally, I always want to retrieve this Raven the Gambit, but now I do have my uh, weapon, so I kill him and I. Well, not to kill him, yeah. Good draw, two cards as well. But I think I'm going to kill him and I gain one Shadow Energy because of the ability from the weapon. But I could also use this Raven Gambit to play and I would have drawn two cards, but I think I'm just going to save them. Well, this sucks. Here comes a Priest of Light. Let's see. Now this is a nice draw. I'm just going to disable this ally. And I could play this one on it, but I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because next turn I can... Well, I should have played it. Yeah, I should have played it. I mean, it's just that's the... What was that? Um, let's get rid of... Hmm. Let's get rid of this one. Play the Raven's Gambit. Never mind. Just want to draw two cards. And it's free anyway, so. Turn them in a face, and. I'll oh, just play this one. And we'll just enter him. So he's giving me already GG. It's not over yet, but. What is wrong with this card? Okay, he's conceding. So yeah, as you can see this Victor deck, it's pretty cool to play, it has pretty new cards and yeah, I hope you like this match, do not forget to like uh, this video, uh, comment, let me hear what you think about Shattered Fate and which cards are overpowered, do you think Raven, uh, the, uh, whatever it's called, the Gambit card that says attached to an enemy hero or ally, not a hero, uh, ally, it gets minus one defense and when it becomes destroyed you get two cards. Let me hear what you think about it. We'll see you next match. Cheers!